the wedge, the what are the various forces that will be acting on it? M1, normal contact N1, here N1, the friction force, Fk, you write it, the frictional force, Fk, M1g cos theta, then M1g sin theta. Okay, these are the forces that are acting on the thing. So now after this, what, what conditions will arise? How the wedge will move? Wedge should move towards right. The motion of the wedge should be towards right. And how the block, block with respect to wedge will move along the incline. With respect to ground, somewhere in the plane. I think already have come across problems related to this. So straight away you have to get into the numerical year. <coughs> So let's go for one by one all. Now how to describe this motion of the acceleration of center of mass of the system is asking, not of the wedge or any other thing. So the acceleration of the wedge, let's assume like this. Then, then any, any other forces? M1G sin theta, the friction, is acting on the wedge. Let it be it. And then any any pseudo force shall I show? Yes, it will no. M1 A2. Uh, I, and that this will be AR, you take it. What is AR? Acceleration of the block with respect to inclined plane. Okay, let's write all the possible equation. First, <coughs> normal contact you calculate because that is very important. So what is N1? N1, here N2 will come, weight M2G. N1 plus M1A2 sin theta minus M1G cos theta. Uh, M1 value is given 2 root 2, so this will be, let, let me substitute the values, huh? it will be easy for me, huh? problem will become very lengthy, lot of calculation, so I'll keep this equation 1, if you want to write it, and then after this, what is Fk, Fk is equal to mu N1, so mu is how much, 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 into 20 minus 2A2, keep that. okay, let's write equation for the acceleration of the block along the incline, so it should be equal to mass of the block M1 AR should be equal to M1G sin theta. In exams, better don't uh, substitute the values and carry on because lengthy equation sometimes will come. So if I solve this, <coughs> uh, what is M1 2 root 2 AR 2 root 2 10 1 by root 2 2 root 2 A2 we don't know cos theta cos 45 1 by root 2 and fk is how much 0 0.220 minus 2a2 so this is everything 16 plus 2 point i just solved it so that i wanted to save time huh? this is equation 3 this is relation between a2 and ar Okay, let's write on the which. So this is for the, the block. Block along incline. This is perpendicular to incline. I'm writing nearby the comments also. Just see that one. So this is over. Okay, now for the wedge, we'll write it for wedge. For wedge, what is the equation? What are the forces that are acting on the wedge? N1 sin theta towards right. And Fk cos theta towards left. It should be called M2 A2. So the equation should be N1 sin theta minus Fk cos theta equal to M2 A2. This are the only forces that are acting on the wedge along x axis. And we know N1, we know N1, we know Fk. So directly we'll get the value of A2. Substituting 1, 2, <coughs> 1 and 2 in the equations, 4.
the value of a2 i am getting around 2.73 meter per second square now this is very important what is this acceleration of the wedge along x axis okay now we got it so once i know a2 can i calculate here this is what equation 5 Now put phi in three, we'll get AR. Anybody value of AR? So AR, I'm okay. Let me check with calculator. Uh, AR will be substituting value of A2 here, root 2, mm, yeah, and I'm getting 7.97 or you can write it as almost equal to 8, huh? the, the equation 6, okay, now we have almost everything in our hand, AR everything that one, okay, now let's get into the concept of <coughs> center of mass. <coughs> Uh, in what action center of mass will accelerate here? Straight away you can get in problem. What is the net force on system along x axis? Zero. We know that. The net force acting on system along x axis is zero. So therefore, center of mass must accelerate along y axis only. So that we are trying to calculate here. So I'll, I'll now calculate the acceleration of block along x, along y. Hmm? I have. Already we have discussed the same thing in laws of motion. I don't think so. This is something very new for you. I, I'm making things clear. This is not something very new. Already we have discussed this. Uh, now, uh, what is the... So here you can take one rough diagram. This is theta. This is A2. It will have AR here, no? No, it will have two accelerations. One acceleration A1x and A1y. Uh, what is here? Acceleration of the block with respect to which? And wh what is A1x? Acceleration of the block along x-axis with respect to ground. And what is A1y? Acceleration of the block with respect to wedge or ground because the wedge is not moving along x-axis. So how to calculate this A1x? Because I know only AR, A2 and cos theta. Go back to the basics again. AR, cos theta towards left, anything towards right is positive. AR cost will be towards left, should be equal to A1x, I don't know, the unknown things, I'll leave it. Then, plus A2. So what is A1x? This will be A2 minus AR cos theta equal to A1x. I, I know equation 5 and 6. Equations this one put five and six in seven so i'll get the a1x so what is the value of a1x 2.9 no uh, similarly i want <coughs> a1y what is a1y a1y is very simple you know I can write it as AR sin theta. A1y is equal to 5.63. So call this equation 9. No, no, I think we have enough information. Let's go for directly the definition of center of mass. What definition of center of mass is? What is the definition of center of mass? Total acceleration of system ACM bar should be equal to M1 A1x bar plus M M1 A1y bar plus M2 A2 bar by M1 plus M2. Why M1 twice? Because having X and Y component and the wedge is having only acceleration along X axis. Substitute all this and you, you see, check everything, no? You'll get acceleration only along y-axis. 
so m1 m1 value 2 root 2 a1x 2.9 in what direction it is it is towards left no we have in the diagram so minus and a1y 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 is minus 5.63j m2 is how much value of m2 is m2 is 3 3 a2 a2 value 2.73 i cap dead by all divided by 2 root 2 plus 3 so check it all this calculation i component will cancel out huh? nearly because i did some approximations it must cancel out will end up with only 2.75 minus j cap and this is very important rather than numerical it's a very good conceptual problem uh, we got it positive there what will happen i, I assumed it here no because what is the net force on system along x should be zero look at the diagram a1 x here if you want you put it negative sign you'll end up this one so here a1 x is towards left I just calculated magnitude from there. Now, now look at this. I think, uh, now look at the center of mass. It is acting, it's, it is aggregating only along y-axis. Any reason for that? Go back to the, look at the thing here. N1 sine theta, N1 sine theta. Fk cos theta, Fk cos theta. Then only along y-axis, what are the forces acting? Weight, M1g and M1. And look at this. N1 cos theta, N1 cos theta. Fk sine theta, Fk sine theta. Tell me like what is the only forces acting? Shall I say only weight? No, if it were only weight, I would have said aggregation of center of mass as G, but N2 is acting. Even that N2 is also acting. So therefore this N2 will become external force on the system. So what is aggregation of center of mass along this one is M1G plus M2G minus N2. Can we calculate that normal reaction N2? The formula is this one. Huh? The formula is M1G plus M2G minus n2 should be equal to m1 plus m into ACM magnitude like this is what you should calculate n2 check it <coughs> the normal reaction since we don't know this value this is unknown thing this was a not a known thing so therefore if we were the value of n2 were known i would have directly predicted ACM since it was unknown so therefore we are using this method so it's very difficult to identify sometimes external forces, internal forces. We thought we never bothered about N2, no? But this N2 is what? Because of this N2, what happened? N2, M1G minus N2G, M1G minus M2G minus N2. M1G plus M2G minus N2 is what? Resultant force acting downward. That's why it is accelerating down center of mass. So what is the firm conclusion? ACMX means net force on system along x-axis zero so center of mass will not shift non-zero so center of mass descended and now what are the questions they'll ask you find the time taken by the block to reach the bottom of the incline <coughs> yes we can work out now since we know ar all the things or directly we know a1y so you know a1y and it will ascend an i -tech. So descend at night h. So any related other questions can be asked here. Uh, slide some approximate decimal places. No, uh, you check with calculator. No, some 0 0.01 or one decimal place will come. But in fact, they should be equal only. We did uh, up to four decimal places.